and welcome to Complete Games with me, James. Hope you're doing well. All set for Christmas. And today we're going to be starting the Artifact of the Cunning. Now I'm going to get straight into this cave because it is, it is quite a long cave to do and it's not too far from Herbie Island. I will mark it on the map. Um, but uh, yeah, um, <laughs> there's usually a lot of bad stuff in here. So the key to doing this cave is just to take it slowly and uh, don't go in there too fast and yeah look at all these sharks coming for us now so and they are cave sharks so they could spawn at anywhere up to level 300 and uh, this is where the problem comes in because they just all come at you at once and uh, but I think we've got enough health on tank as long as we're careful we've got enough health on tank to be able to do this so yeah, the Artifact of the Cunning, one of the more difficult artifacts to get. In fact, what we got to get now? Three more we've got to get. And um, this one's required to do the dragon, I believe. But yeah, it's been a while since I've been in this cave. Um, I know I've lost a dino in here before. And the artifact's kind of halfway through the cave as well in here. But um, yeah, we'll just continue slowly and not more shark so I think we get two so spot oh yeah speak of the devil here's one now so that was a 290 megalodon this is not this is already getting bloody so I can't see where have you gone give me a two so so I'm not sure if I get any black pearls from the ones in the cave. I think. Just uh, check here. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. It would have left a bag as well if, if it had have spawned any black pearls. I'm close to 150 now, so I do have enough to make the tech fabricator when we need it. Um, but I will need a few more. I'm not as worried about black pearls as I was before. some stuff there and yeah like I say the artifacts only about halfway through this cave but um, I'm gonna go and grab the dinosaur dossiers and the notes in this cave as well and I better put my breathing gear on I was just using the Lazarus chowder just to save on the oxygen just get up a bit higher, we'll stop taking damage now we're inside. Now, I don't think them Dunklios aggro on you as long as you sort of stay away from them. That's alright, there's a couple more Tussos in here. Okay, let's just slowly make our way forward. So. Mate boosted. Ooh. Let me take him one out, but I can't see anything. I mean, I'm trying. I'm doing this cave on the Basilosaurus basically because of the um, electric eels and jellyfish. I find it's the best cave dino, really. And uh, I'm not sure. Taming it too, so I mean it would have been alright up to now, but as soon as you get a few jellyfish and that you just get thrown off, so and I'm not sure if the Tuso can actually squeeze through the gap. So 
If anyone knows, actually, write down in the comments if it can get down there. Because could it, Moza would be great uh, for this, but again, we get shocked off of it, so we can't see again. Where's he gone? So I have been doing a bit of uh, T-Rex breeding this week and um, we've managed to get a, a few health mu mutations. Okay, so we just got rid of some stuff. We continue just slowly now. I know that there should be some loot crates spawning around here somewhere. So, have I just gone in the wrong direction? I think I have. Just got disoriented then. Yeah, this is the way. So, I don't know if that's one just down there. Using the dark side lightning on me. One of the things I really do need to get is a, uh, a decent saddle recipe for the T-Rex. We're not going to be able to do much about that. Yeah, I don't think these donkeys are getting aggroed. So we'll just stay out of the way because they're, they're pretty tanky, them things, if you can avoid hitting them best to. I mean the uh, sharks have quite a lot of damage but uh, the Dunkleys definitely um, have a lot more health. Get rid of these angelfish. Anglerfish, sorry. Angelfish. The thing is they come over and attack you and then they just sort of wander off. And they keep coming back to you, so you're best just to get them. Okay. Let's see if we can find any. I think it's a loot crate down there. So we'll check everywhere. Because I have had good, good loot from this cave before. Yeah, there's a blue drop just here. a second and let these sharks come in on us. Last thing you want to do is sort of get cornered in this cave. Unfortunately no alphas yet. There's so many sharks in this cave. Oh, we got a level. do a great deal of damage. I haven't really pumped much in the way of damage because the Basilos don't really benefit much from it. I've mainly pumped health. Yeah, so I've just um, force fed tank a little bit there. He had lost 15,000 in health so it's just taken me a little while to heal up. Probably best to get them points back before we continue. So just down here, this is where the artifact is. Oh, we got a Moza. Just behind that pillar. This one's got quite a lot of um, health. Quite a tank. Yeah, it seems to be getting bloody. I wonder what level this is. 195. So, yeah, we'll just go, well, it's just behind here, just behind that post, there's a, a little hole, and um, the artifact's just down here, but uh, before we go down there, I'm just going to go and grab um, 
the dossiers. And uh, there's usually quite a lot of sharks in that hole as well, so we want to be careful when we go in there. It's quite a tight space as well, as where I've been caught out in the past, so... Alright, let's carry on. I know there's a dossier just a little bit further on around the corner here. But yeah, it's kind of strange this cave, because the artifact's kind of halfway through it. that seemed to take longer than the last one. <laughs> like the way it just pinged off there. Okay. So yeah, I think it's just a little bit further up here. And there's some ruins. So... I am looking forward to the underwater part in Genesis. I'm really hoping... Um, I'm really hoping that it's going to be quite, uh, pretty good, that game. Because I always found that the island map really didn't have much reason to go out on the underwater dinos. There's just a couple of caves and a few things to do, but largely never used the underwater stuff, so what have we got here? Oh uh, yeah, the jellyfish dossier. So, and I'm not sure if some underwater crates spawn a little bit further on, so we'll continue. I know there's a note you have to get out for at the top here, so we may as well go for that while we're doing this cave. Yeah, these sharks can just come out from anywhere, so it's best just to go a little bit at a time. basically make all the other underwater dinos useless, really. So... Well, kind of. It certainly does in the caves, anyway. Give me a shark. see anything. It's safe to continue. Getting a few more points on the tank here as well while we've got the XP boost. So the plesiosaurs just got stuck in the wall here, so we'll get some free points here. Look at it go right in the distance over there. Just ragdolled right over the top. <laughs> Great, love it. Okay, can't see anything else in this little bit here. I'm going to take these jellies because I know we have to get out of the water to get this other dossier. It's not essential, but uh, that I'm not going for a hundred percent completion and collecting every dossier. But I know there is one, one more in here. Oh, those that just came out. Quite a few Moses and a Tuso in here. Haven't we? Haven't had an Alpha yet, though. That changes things. some damage now. Okay. <laughs> Didn't ragdoll like the plesiosaur. So. so Yeah, I know the Moser and the Tuso were 
two of the later underwater dinos. The plesiosaur was one of the first big underwater dinos. I think the Tuso came out at the same time as this cave actually came as an update originally. Um, but it's been such a long time since I've been playing the island map. It's actually been quite good coming back to it. Okay, so yeah. I don't see anything else in here that's going to bother us. Just come up the top here. Now I know up the top there's a dossier to grab, so... See, I think while we're here we may as well go for it. I know this is one of the longer caves to do, really. for a sec. Um, so, yeah, I can see some bats over there. I think maybe we'll just aggro them over this way. Yes. Just get this last one. Oh, tank, you moved. Like, you're moving. <laughs> That's a, right. Tank's just deciding to have something to eat while I'm trying to take a shot there. I managed to get it. Okay. I'm just going to go in with a shotgun on these spiders. see anything else. Yeah, I think we're safe to come and get it. Just a few snails. Can't remember which one it was. And a lane I don't. Okay. So there was another way to come up and get this note uh, earlier on in the cave. And we just see over here there's like a bridge. But I'm not going to continue. We'll just go back down to the water. Okay, so we've got the note. Um, let's just take this jellyfish out. I just want to check just before we go down if there's a artifact around the... Well, so if, I just want to check if there's a loot crate just up here. Because I've only found one so far. Yeah, one just maybe around the corner here. A chance to swarm back in. Oh yeah, we've got another blue one here. A second. Yes, yeah, some bananas waiting right next to it. Another shark's come out another way. Is that everything? I think we're safe. Can we jump off for two seconds? What do we got? Compound bow. Ooh, an ascendant one. I never really use it, but uh, I'm sure that's a pretty good weapon to have. I'm sure the ascendant one was going to do some damage. Still, it's the saddles that I need. seeing if the other loot crate had spawned back. Okay, um, no more putting it off then. Let's head down into the bottom here. And what I'll do is I'll just go in there and then I'll come back out and then that hopefully just brings them out a little bit at a time. Just poke our heads down and hopefully 
something aggro's on us because it's really quite tight in there to be fighting and if they all mob you, it can be difficult. Okay, here comes the electric eels. So, get them all. We got an alpha shark. Um, and more sharks. Oh, no, we've uh, aggroed the dunkling. Of course, the uh, alpha's just going to bring everything in and boost it up. I think, um, right, let's just take it a bit higher. I don't know if the Donkleos, if, if we go up to the surface, they might not follow us. I totally forget. Yeah, Alphas just boost everything. So, yeah. are they following us? No, it doesn't look like they're following us. Got some sharks. Donkleos are staying there, back there. Come on. That took ages for a 160. I think everything should stop aggroing. I think the, uh... Is that... Is that spiders up here and scorpions? The, the alpha sharks actually aggroed the stuff from on top of the cave down here. So, oh well, it's even, it's even bought the dung beetles in there. Oh. That's the other way you can get up to the other side of it. Just grab it up from up there. But we've already got the dossier. Um, let's have some stamina. Hey, where'd you come from? Let's get back down. Yeah, the Zonkleos are not bothered about us now. Just go this way. That might have been a bit difficult to do, just in that tight space. Okay. Let's see what's left in here. At least we got rid of the Alpha. I think we got quite a bit of the stuff out of the cave. Yeah, there's just a couple of sharks left. But like I say it's just such a tight space in here and what with the Alpha down here, you just need to get pinned against a wall and you take damage really quickly. Just everything mobs you. So I prefer to go, go about doing this slowly like we have been. Better to be safe. Because if we was to lose the tank at this point, I'd have to breed another one up and level it up just to come into this cave again. Okay. We continue. Just want to be careful I don't hear that one on the floor. In fact, I might just bring these jellyfish towards me. I think I might hear that Don Cleave. Just start fighting with the edge. Got enough time to jump off for the artifact or and then jellies come on in you quite quick. It feels like they take forever to get to you and then you jump off your dino and before you know what they're there. <laughs> There's even a couple of piranhas. Jump off quick. Excellent. Okay, Ooh. jelly coming out of nowhere. See, they're sneaky, they can just come out of nowhere and get you. 
Okay, so that's another artifact down. We just need to get two more. We've got the uh, snow cave and the swamp cave. And um, as well, actually, while we're talking about the uh, snow cave, um, I was pointing out to in the comments that, of course, we can now use cryopods. So um, I'm, it wasn't really necessary to build in the caves. And uh, I can go straight in with some allosauruses. Perhaps put up a barrier just to get them out of the cryo sort of stasis. Yeah. So we'll try that. Okay, and we're back. Well, that's about all the time we've got for this one. That's another artifact down. The artifact of the cunning. Uh, we'll have to go back and uh, grab a couple more. And uh, hopefully I'll just go and look for some loot crates as well. Might get ourselves a decent saddle. But uh, if you enjoyed that episode, don't forget to uh, subscribe for more Complete the Art content. And until next time, I'm James from Complete Games. And I'll see you.